Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up enhanced conversions for Google Analytics and Google Ads with e-commerce tracking using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to show you how to track purchases on a WooCommerce store running on WordPress and how to implement consent mode using a cookie banner. To get everything set up, we're going to implement e-commerce tracking using Google Tag Manager. Then we're going to configure enhanced conversions. Next, we'll use a cookie banner to ensure we're using consent mode to fire our tags. And finally, we'll test that everything is working. Okay, let's head to WordPress. To begin, let's check that the GTM for WordPress plugin is installed and configured correctly. Since I'm using WooCommerce, this plugin makes it super easy to push e-commerce events and customer data into the data layer, which we'll use to configure our tags. To check that the plugin is installed, let's select Plugins and then Installed Plugins. We can see the GTM for WordPress plugin is installed and active. So now let's select Settings and choose Google Tag Manager. I've already added my Google Tag Manager container ID, which we can see at the top. And we can also see the container code option is set to on. So this means Google Tag Manager is added to the WordPress site. If you are getting started with Google Tag Manager and you want to cover the steps to get up and running in more detail, you can find links to additional tutorials in the description below this video. For this tutorial, I'm assuming that you're up and running with the basics already. But if you're feeling stuck, please let me know in the comments. Okay, now let's select the Integration tab and choose WooCommerce. We need to enable Track eCommerce and we also need to enable the Order Data in Data Layer option. This will make order details, including email addresses, available when people complete their purchase. We will then be able to capture these email addresses and use them for enhanced conversion tracking with our Google Analytics and Google Ads tags. And let's save our changes. Now it's time to head to Google Tag Manager. We're going to import a pre-configured e-commerce container to help us get up and running quickly. I've included a link to download the container in the description below this video. To import the container, let's navigate to Admin and select Import Container. Let's choose the pre-configured e-commerce container. Let's select our existing workspace and choose Default Workspace. Now let's select Merge and let's click Add to Workspace. We've now imported the pre-configured e-commerce container. This includes a tag to send e-commerce events to Google Analytics. It also includes a trigger and a number of variables. Let's navigate to Tags. We can see the existing Google tag for Google Analytics that was already in the container. And we can see the new Google Analytics e-commerce tag that was just imported. Let's open this tag. We need to select the measurement ID for our Google Analytics data stream. So let's select Tag Configuration. Let's remove the placeholder and let's select our Google Analytics measurement ID. Again, if you're just getting started with Google Tag Manager, check out the links in the description below this video for my other dedicated tutorials. Looking at the tag configuration, you'll see the option to include user provided data. This is what we will use to send email addresses to Google Analytics for enhanced conversion tracking. We will come back to this in a moment. But before we can configure this, we need to create a variable. For now, let's save the tag. Now let's navigate to Triggers. 
we can see the e-commerce events trigger we just imported. This will fire the e-commerce tag for all of Google's recommended e-commerce events. Now let's navigate to Variables. We can see all of the e-commerce variables we imported. You can use these to pass information to any additional tags you configure in Google Tag Manager. So any tags other than the Google Analytics tag, which will automatically capture all of these details. Since we edited the e-commerce tag to use our existing measurement ID variable, we can go ahead and delete the variable named change GA form measurement ID, as we don't need this. So let's select it and delete it. Okay, the next step is to pass the email addresses of people who make a purchase through to our tags. To do this, we need to find how these details are added to the data layer. So let's click Preview. Tag Assistant loads. We need to enter the URL of our website. And click Connect. Our website loads in a new tab. Now let's navigate to our store. Select a product. And add the product to our cart. Now let's view the cart. And we need to check out. Enter our contact information. And complete the transaction. We can see we're now viewing the order confirmation page. So let's open the tag assistant tab. And let's select the purchase event on the left. This is the data layer event that is created by the GTM for WordPress plugin when a purchase has been completed on the website. Now let's select the data layer tab. And scrolling down, we can see the email address we entered for our purchase. So this means we can capture these details from the data layer. And we will use a data layer variable to access the email address which is stored in the data layer object under order data, customer, billing, email. Okay, let's close the Tag Assistant tab. And let's close our website. Now we need to create a variable, so let's click New. Let's name the variable e-commerce email. And let's select variable configuration. Now let's choose data layer variable as the type. And for the data layer variable name, let's enter order, then data with a capital D, full stop, customer, full stop, billing, full stop, email. This will capture the email addresses people use when they make a purchase on our website. Now let's save the variable. And let's create one more variable. Let's name the variable user provided data e-commerce email. And select variable configuration. Now let's choose user provided data as the type. And let's select the drop down under email and choose e commerce email. Now let's save the variable. Now we need to adjust our tags, so let's navigate to tags. And let's open the e commerce tag for Google Analytics. Let's select Tag Configuration. And now we can enable the Include User Provided Data option. Using the drop down, we can select the User Provided Data variable we just created. 
This means we will be passing email addresses to Google Analytics for enhanced conversion tracking. Now let's save the tag. And I've already created a Google Ads tag to track conversions for purchases. So let's open this tag. And let's select Tag Configuration. For the conversion value, let's choose the e-commerce value variable. For the transaction ID, let's choose the e-commerce transaction ID variable. For the currency code, let's choose the e-commerce currency variable. Like we did with our Google tag for Google Analytics, we can now enable the Include User Provider Data option and select the User Provider Data variable we just created. Now let's save the tag. The final step is to implement the cookie banner and configure consent mode using Google Tag Manager. To do this, we're going to import another container. This includes the cookie consent, open source banner, and the necessary tags to configure consent mode. Let's head back to admin. And select import container. Let's select the pre-configured consent mode container. And let's choose existing for the workspace. Select the default workspace. And choose merge. Now let's click add to workspace. We've now added two tags to our container. One adds a cookie banner to our website and the other updates the consent status for our tags. The container we imported has also added a custom template to our container and a variable that captures the consent selections people have made on our website. Since we're only using tags from Google, these will automatically adjust their behavior based on the consent selections people make on our cookie banner. This means we don't need to adjust any of our tags, but if you would like to learn more about managing consent with Google Tag Manager, I recommend checking out my Google Tag Manager course. I've included a link in the description below this video. Okay, now it's time to test everything to make sure it's working correctly. To do this, let's click Preview. Tag Assistant loads. We click Connect. Our website loads. We can see the cookie banner has loaded. The tags from Google will still fire even if we don't accept cookies. This is because they automatically adjust to send a basic, anonymous hit to Google products. Now let's accept cookies. This means we'll now be collecting complete data as we've granted consent. Okay, let's navigate to our store. Select a product and add the product to our cart. Now let's view the cart and check out. Enter our contact information and complete the transaction. We're viewing the order confirmation page, so let's open the Tag Assistant tab and let's select the purchase event on the left. Now let's select our Google Analytics e-commerce tag. When values is selected on the top right corner, we can see that user data, so email addresses, are being successfully sent to Google Analytics. And the same is occurring for our Google Ads conversion tag. Once you're happy everything is working, you can publish your changes in Google Tag Manager. This means we're now tracking enhanced conversions for e-commerce transactions in Google Ads and Google Analytics. Plus, we're only tracking this data when people consent to cookies being used on our website. 
Have you implemented enhanced conversions for e-commerce or are you planning to? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to learn even more about Google Tag Manager, Google Ads or Consent Mode, check out the links in the description below this video and my dedicated courses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.